Hey there, I'm Chef Ani. Recently, my family and I visited Norway, so I thought I would share a few highlights of our trip with you. We go to Norway every year to visit our family because my mom grew up there. Every year is special and we really never know what adventures we're in for. So enough talking, let's go to Norway. We started by gathering our family at the family cabin. My mom's brother and sister were there along with their families and their cousin Chris was also there with her family from America. My aunt, who Kaya and I call Tanta Neva because when we were little it was too challenging for us to say Tanta Seneva. So we shortened it to Tanta Neva and it stuck. Anyway, she had the idea of taking us on a road trip across Norway in electrical cars. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ani. Oh, still wet. My nightgown's still wet. We're gonna leave soon. We were supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. Now, if you know anything about electrical cars, electrical cars equal adventure. Basically, just like your iPhone, if you don't charge it, it will stop. But then you get a lovely ride on the back of a tow truck. Ask me how I know that one. <laughs> so we packed up the car and drove to the coast to visit my uncle on his sailboat. We walked around for a little bit, charged the cars. I spent the time trying to find my belongings and then drove to where we would spend the night. And to say that it was neat would be an understatement. Wow, this is amazing. Here's one bedroom. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow, this incredible view. I want to live here for the rest of my life. <laughs> The kitchen, we're literally up in the air. Dining room. This is amazing, Tanta Nova. Isn't this neat? This is so neat. We're staying in a tree house. It's a little wow. steep. Okay. Here, yeah, hang on. Okay. Two bunk beds. Where did you see the other? <gasps> wow. Rope swing? All right. Show us how it's done. Swing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you do it. You sit on it. <laughs> we also visited our other tree house, which was equally cute. After we had eaten, it was time to go to bed. Good morning, Ani. What a great day. Did you sleep well, Mom? I slept so fantastic. Good morning. Good morning. The next morning, it was raining. But as my grandmother says, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. So I put on appropriate rain gear and brushed my teeth. Because what better way to start off the day than with clean teeth? <laughs> This, this is interesting. Hi, Kaya, what are you doing? I'm climbing the Why would house. They do this? <laughs> After charging, we loaded up the car and said goodbye to our little tree house. After a few more charging stops, we arrived at the lighthouse where we would be staying. Oh, windy. Hi. And then it was time to climb to the top of the lighthouse. It was a lot further up than I thought it was. Oh, 
After a nice meal of tomato soup and noodles, we went to bed. Bright and early the next morning, we wanted to watch the sunrise. So up those stairs we went again. This time it seemed to go a little faster. And we kind of missed the sunrise because we were looking in the wrong direction. But I got part of it. Mom and I were taking some pictures of the lighthouse and all of a sudden a rainbow came out behind it. It was amazing. After breakfast and a quick last run up to the top of the lighthouse, we packed the car, said goodbye to the llamas, and off we went. After a few more charging stops and a ferry, we reached our hotel by the fjord. We checked into the hotel, found our room. How this cool is, is this? Level of 1 to 10. 11. Okay, yeah. wow. Realized we didn't have Dad. Had to go get him. Daddy, you have to come see this room. Is this our room? Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I thought this, I thought this was a bathroom. I thought you guys were in the bathroom. <laughs> And we ate the most delicious cauliflower soup with about the deepest spoon I have ever put in my mouth. The next morning, after a good night's rest and a good breakfast, we started to hike up to Prekestuna. After a good bit of walking, we reached the top and it was about the most amazing place I think I've ever been. After a nice day of hiking, we charged the car and spent the night at a neat house by the water. The next morning, Kaya had us racing down to the water to feed some swans. And then trying to get away from the swan, she fell over some kayaks. You have to better go and see if he has more. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? And the last thing we visited before we headed home was the southernmost tip of Norway. I see your ship. It is a long way away. Oh, you can see it better without the telescope. We explored some tunnels. We gotta go explore that tunnel. This is so cool. You impressed with the thickness of this deck? I am so impressed with the thickness of this cast iron. Honey, <laughs> this is so thick. <laughs> well, our road trip had come to an end and it was time to go home. And we charged the cars multiple times on the way home.
You know, Norway has always been a very special place for me. The beautiful nature and amazing mountains and fjords is unlike anything else I have seen. But most of all, Norway is special to me because my family is there. I love the memories and stories that were created in Norway by loved ones and those who we hope to see again someday. Norway will always have a special place in my heart.